Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix Kmode exception not handled in Windows 11 and Windows 10. Stop code 0x000000001e Kmode exception not handled. This stop code indicates that a kernel mode program generated an exception that the error handler did not catch. This Kmode exception not handled stop code on blue screen of death is typically caused by a driver or hardware related issues. Here are some common causes of this stop code. Number 1. Faulty device drivers. A driver that outdated, corrupted or incompatible with operating system can trigger this stop code. This could include driver for hardware component such as printers, scanners, network adapters or graphics card. Number 2. Malfunctioning hardware. A malfunctioning or damaged hardware component such as RAM, hard drive or graphics card can cause this stop code. Number 3. Windows Updates Sometimes installing Windows Update can trigger this stop code if the update is incompatible with system's hardware or drivers. Number 4. Virus or Malware Infection A virus or malware infection can corrupt system files including drivers and cause this stop code. Number 5. Overclocking Overclocking hardware component such as CPU GPU beyond their recommended limit can cause this stop code. Number 6. System file corruption Corruption of the system files including driver can cause this stop code to appear. And number 7. Issues with Windows Registry Problems with Windows Registry which stores configuration settings for system and applications can cause this stop code. However, don't worry, here are some certain fixes to fix stop code Kmode exception not handled in Windows 11 and Windows 10. So, let's get started. Update or reinstall device drivers. Device drivers are essential software components that enable communication between the hardware and the operating system. If a driver is outdated or incompatible, it can cause system instability and trigger the stop code Kmode exception not handled. To fix this issue, you need to boot into safe mode. To access safe mode, restart your computer and press F8 key repeatedly until the advanced boot option menu appears. Select safe mode Once you are in safe mode, right click on Windows Start and select Device Manager from the list of options. In the device manager, look at the drivers for hardware components that you want to update or reinstall, such as printer, scanner, network adapter, and graphics card. It may have a UL exclamation mark next to it indicating that it needs attention. Right click on the driver and search automatically for updated driver software. And you can choose uninstall the device and restart your computer and Windows will automatically detect and reinstall the device driver. Also, you can do this manually by using a driver updater tool. Disable or remove incompatible software. Incompatible software can cause this stop code. Certain programs may conflict with operating system or other software and cause system instability. Disable or remove any software that you suspect may be causing the issue. After uninstalling, just reboot once. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. Check for overheating and disable overclocking. Overheating or overclocking of hardware component such as the CPU-GPU 
beyond their recommended limits can cause this stop code. Overheating and overclocking can cause hardware component to malfunction, which can lead to system instability and trigger the keyboard exception not handle stop code. Use monitoring software to check temperature of your hardware component and ensure that they are operating with normal limits and disable overclocking in BIOS or using third-party software can easily resolve the issue and note very carefully. Make sure your computer is running with balanced power plan. If not, then at first set the balanced power plan as default, which is highly recommended. And don't select high performance option because high performance mode does not lower your CPU speed when it's not being used. High performance power plan won't make your CPU faster. It just run your CPU at higher clock speed which would only produce more heat. And as I have said before that overheating one of the most common reason behind this top code came out exception not handled. So set the balanced power plan as default and let your system good to go. Now just restart your computer. After that hopefully your problem will be solved. Run hardware diagnostic. A malfunctioning or damaged hardware component such as RAM, hard drive or graphics card can cause this issue. Hardware components can develop issues over time due to wear and tear, overclocking or power surges. Use diagnostic tool to test each hardware component for issues. The Windows memory diagnostic tool can check memory related issues. You can perform a memory diagnostic test from Windows self mode. Go to Windows search and search for memory diagnostic tool. Now you can perform a memory diagnostic test by using this tool. Check for and repair system file corruption. System files are essential files that are required for proper functioning of operating system. Corruption of these files can cause system instability and trigger the stop code K mode exception not handled. You can use system file checker tool to scan for and repair any corrupted system files. Open the command prompt as administrator. and run the command SFC scan now. Ok as you can see Windows resource protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. If this method not working you can try a force offline fix to repair any corrupted system files. In order to continue this procedure, you will need an installation media for installed version of Windows. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Insert your Windows installation media to your computer's CSV port. After that, restart your computer and go to your PC's BIOS. Now select your USB drive to boot from that. Click next. Click repair your computer. Choose troubleshoot. And then command prompt. Type bcd edit and hit enter. Here you will need to identify your OS drive letter. Here's my OS drive letter is D and system root location shows backward slash windows in uppercase. If your system root location showing in sentence case, just remember it. Now type SFC space forward slash scan now space forward slash of booter equals to your OS drive letter. 
colon backward slash space for slash of winder equals to your OS drive letter colon backward slash your system root location. Note, maintain the same block or small letter format as it is showing on the system root location. Now hit enter to execute this operation. Please don't close this scan and repair operation until it's completed. As you can see the status, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. Type exit and hit enter. Now turn off your system and eject the Windows installation media. And then turn your system back on. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. Restore the system to a previous stable state. If you recently made any changes to your system such as installing a new driver, application or modifying Windows registry, restoring the system to a previous state can help to fix this stop code. To do this, you should have a Windows installation media. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Insert your Windows installation media to your computer's USB port. After that, restart your computer to boot from your USB drive. Click on Next. Click on Repair your computer. Select Troubleshoot. Then System Restore. Select your operating system. And click Next. Select and use the System Restore feature to restore the system to a previous date or time when the system was functioning correctly. Now click on next to perform system restore. Click on finish and click on yes to confirm system restore. Please wait for the system restore process to complete. Once the restore process is complete, your computer will ask for restart. After the restart, check if the keyboard exception not handle error has been resolved. Alright, as you can see, the boot was successful without any interruption. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.